I think it's such great news that, that we don't need to do anything to feel okay. That we are always okay already in every moment of our life, no matter what data stream comes up for us. And data stream is anything that we can perceive. So all our thoughts, emotions, sensations, experience, so everything that we can perceive we can just label as a datum and many data. And so whatever we perceive or whatever comes up for us, we see there's a fundamental okay, like a ground of feeling okay in every circumstance, that we don't need to effort for that. It's always present. And that's such a big relief. I mean, I was trying so hard to feel comfortable and okay in, in, in any given situation. So I had all kinds of ideas in how my situ situations I put myself in need to look like that I feel comfortable and okay. I mean, I had theories and many um, ideas about that. And that was such an, such an effort to do because, I mean, we all know when we look into our, into our lives that we cannot put circumstances into place that we always feel comfortable and okay, it's just not possible. We all try it and, and, and we can see that it's always unexpected things come up or things don't go as we want to and then things come up. And, and, and so it's such a big relief that we can just be okay in every moment when we allow everything to be as it is. All data, all thoughts, emotions, sensations. We don't need to try to rearrange them into better thoughts or emotions. We don't need to try to get rid of them, of not having any thoughts and emotions. And we don't need to try to um, avoid anything we can see that our well-being is always ensured in every moment with all the nasty data that we thought we could never feel okay with. Like, everybody has their afflictive, favorite afflictive states. I mean, I had, I had a couple of minds and, and, it's, it's, and, and, and it's, it's really great to allow these to be as they are and, and really allow ourselves also time to resolve them. It doesn't mean that they go away. These, these afflictive states. Resting with them, allowing everything to be as it is, it doesn't mean that they need to go away. It might be that they go away and not come again. I had a few, few of my data that just disappeared. Some of them, they just come back again. But what I see, what changed is that there's a more and more ease with, with every data that comes up. More and more ease in my experience. So the whole, um, there's a whole shift in how I perceive the data. No longer do I um, perceive them as afflictive, even though also maybe the data stream of I don't want to have that, I don't want to feel that. That is just the next data stream that comes up. We can allow to be as it is, not needing to get rid of that data stream either. It can be there. It's natural to not wanting to feel, for example, anger or feel sadness or anything like that. If that feeling comes up, I don't want to have it, rest right there. Allow that to be as well. Nothing needs to change in our experience. Everything is completely fine and okay. And, and through allowing everything to be as it is, we see that we can really face anything and can be with, with any emotion and any experience. And then we see that we can be so clear in how we want to deal with a situation or how we want to um, relate in a situation because we are not zooming into one of the data streams. We're allowing everything to be wide open. Like on the um, top of the mountain, we see everything clearly from the top of the mountain. That's, that's what our perspective is. We see everything. All our data streams may be swirling around there. But we see, okay, we can see clearly what direction we want to go, how we want to act, and how we want to be. Because we are not limited by any data streams. We are not acting out of any data streams anymore. And in that way we see that there's so much more ease and, and, and choice in how we want to be in any situation. So much more clear seeing of what will be of most benefit in any situation. Because we are not blindsided anymore. Like these horses that have these blinds in front of them, they just see what they see there. They don't see everything. But we want to open up completely. And that's what we do when we allow everything to be as it is. Really everything. Facing everything. Not, not leaving anything out, no matter how intense it is, 
no matter if we are tired, it really doesn't matter. And it also doesn't matter if it is more intense when we are tired. I mean, I know that also very much from my own experience. And then I, I went into the story about why I'm tired and why all of that also allow that to be one, one data stream at a time, no matter why it came up so intense, no matter how it came up, our choice is always in that moment to allow it to be as it is, to rest deeply with it, seeing that it doesn't affect our actions at all, no matter how intense it is. And it's great if intense data come up, then we can really feel, wow, we are fully alive. There's so much energy, it's just how we labeled it. It's actually just dynamic energy going, going on and, and we just labeled it in, in, in any certain way. Some, some person can have a, the same experience, like in a, a given situation, label it completely different. For example, if you're nervous in, in a situation, you, you feel very nervous and you're collapsing into, I'm, I'm nervous and I, I, because of this and that. Some other people feel it as excitement. You know, it's a similar experience. You need to, I, I noticed that the other, a few weeks ago, it's actually the same, just the same symptoms. It's just how I label it. it it's, it's really amazing and, and so we can just allow everything to be as it is and see that we don't need to label our experience and, and in that way limit it in any given way into something. And, and that's just very, a big relief there, right there. Not needing to do anything with our experience to, to have complete well-being and be of complete um, benefit and complete empowerment. We can use every situation and every, everything that comes up as a complete empowerment for ourselves. Even if it doesn't feel like that in a moment that maybe big afflictions go on, it's a huge empowerment right there when we allow it to be as it is, when we are not collapsing into it. Allowing it to feel there, uh, allowing us to feel everything completely, giving it a complete permission feel to be there. And, and, I mean, that went against everything I thought was possible because I, I thought I need to keep my data streams in place so I will not, for example, anger. I needed to keep it in place so I will not burst out or hurt someone. Or, so I thought I need to really suppress it and not feel it. And so the idea of allowing it to be as it is was a bit scary for me at first. Because I thought, wow, I, I don't have control then anymore, but that's how it felt for me. And, but then I just tested it, and it was completely the opposite, actually. Testing it completely, allowing it to be as it is, suddenly I saw I didn't need to react impulsively out of that anger, even if that feeling comes up strongly. Just feeling it completely, allowing it to be. And then suddenly, so many options opened up, like a whole menu of ways of, of dealing with that anger where I formerly just had maybe one way of dealing with it that wasn't very beneficial. Now I have a whole menu and I can choose, okay, which one would be good for that situation? Sort of like that. It's not, not, not so much thinking about it, but you know, it, it's, I think you understand what I mean. It's just opening up completely there. And, and, and that's where our power is. Everybody's power is right in there in really opening all, up all data streams that they don't have any power over us any power to inform our action, any power to say how we should relate. We, l we allow open intelligence to inform our actions. That intelligence that is at the ground of every experience, that is inseparable from every thought, emotions and sensation that we have. Like the color blue is inseparable from the sky, our data is inseparable from that ground of knowing, that openness, that it that, that intelligence that knows everything completely, that is always of benefit, is always present in every moment. And then it, it, it really doesn't matter anymore if we are, yeah, if, uh, what, what comes up for us. And it, it's beautiful to, to see that energy that we have to, to do service or to do, do things that we really see are of benefit for ourselves. We don't need to now think about or Am I running away from something? Or oh, that's just the next story. Can you see that? Yeah, that's just the next 
complete new story there. We will have many data streams also in, in service. That was my experience. And, and that's a perfect training ground to resolve all data on the fly because we are all together here. Everybody has having that commitment and taking up the responsibility to allow all data streams as they are. And then we see how easy it is to resolve our, also our data. So it's great to immerse ourselves into the trainings and into service because then we can see what is possible. We are training up. We are training up for life completely. We're seeing that what is possible here together is possible everywhere where we go and that we can completely trust. Completely. That's why we're training up together here, seeing what is possible. Possible as human beings coming together, relate to each other in the most powerful and empowering way. I mean, that is so beautiful. I'm so touched about how people are relating here together and empowering, always seeing the, the power in everyone, rather the, the faults and all the, the things that, that they are doing wrong. Just no, empowering to be seeing what, what are they good at. How can we empower? How can we support each other to the, be the best that we can be? And that's the focus here, the focus of benefit completely. And it's really beautiful to, to have that, that we all shift into that perspective and how we just want to view ourselves and, 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 and humankind. It's a completely new way of, of, of viewing things and not even just new, it's just so empowering and beneficial. It's really so potent and I, I can just share about chronic, um, yeah, chronic pain. I, I myself had never really had chronic pain in, in that way. But what I can, can see from all other data streams that, that came up for me, afflictive data streams, is, and what I hear also from other people sharing about chronic pain, that is, it might, the pain might not go away, but the, somehow the quality changes of the pain. The, all the stories around the pain and around the, the disempowering stories that we go off into all the emotional data around it, they just completely settle down and, and then we see that, that we can completely be with, with any, any data stream, with any pain or anything that comes up for us. Then we see, wow, we see so much more option how to be and how to take care also of ourselves because we are not limited to only seeing our world or identifying ourselves just from one data stream, for example, pain just completely opening up all the stories around it and it's so powerful. Then we can really see, wow, we can be with anything that, that life puts on or throws at us. No matter what comes, we are completely prepared for life. We all, it will always be that something will come up in our life, chronic pain, illness, death, no matter what it comes up of, of loved ones, of our own death, we are completely prepared. With taking short moments and relying on open intelligence, we're just comp uh, preparing ourselves for, for, for life and for really knowing that we can face everything. And we have the whole community and four mainstays to support us. Like we heard, the four mainstays, that is that support system that is always available for us to just bring about this recognition and that, that ease and, and, and that stability in every moment of our lives, feeling the well-being in every moment of our lives. 